Hey, it's Anne from Dan Talk, Real Talk, so let's talk. I said I would talk about hors d'oeuvre sex, and I'm going to, because if you think about hors d'oeuvres, when you go somewhere, <clears throat> there's a couple of places where you can go, and you get like small quantities, like three sliders, this and that. To me, that's perfect, because then you're not tied into something like a huge 10 ounce, like a 10 ounce thing, which isn't huge, but, or whatever. It's the variety, the chance to have different things all at the same time. Hors d'oeuvre sex is very much like that. So think about having hors d'oeuvres. You have sausage rolls, some cheese, some olives, some deli meat, veggie spring rolls. Um, other things that people like to have is like baked brie, like stuff that really makes you go yes. So if you translate that into uh, sex, imagine what it would be. You're not tied down to any one thing for any length of time. You try different things a little bit at a time. A little oral, a little doggy, a little 69, a little missionary, a little this, a little that, and you finish off with whatever makes you feel really, really great. Um, the bonus to this is that you get to try different things all in the same time period and if you don't like it, it's only for whatever length of time you're willing to do it. I think there's something to be said for putting a sausage roll in your mouth for a period of time, for sucking a cock for a period of time, for stamp licking and having some exciting vagina action for a period of time, and then to uh, finish it off with some great doggy, missionary, up against the wall, or 69. Try it. I think you'll like the menu. Diane from Diane Talk, Real Talk, Wheel Talk. I'll see you later. Have a wonderful night, guys. Bye.